Tony, thank you. Now, fraud sentencing. Today, a local estate planner and his employee learns that they're going to spend time in prison for their roles in a $46 million investment scheme that preyed on terminally ill people. We have in-depth coverage tonight. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau is taking a closer look at requests for the judge from both sides on Joseph Caramadre's punishment. But first, let's go to Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell, live outside Providence Federal Court. Joseph Caramadre addressed the court for about 20 minutes. He did not apologize for his actions. He only apologized, as he put it, for his victims misunderstanding a program he created to help people. The man convicted of preying on terminally ill patients and bilking $46 million from insurance companies and bond issuers has been sentenced to six years in federal prison. Uh, this is his first exposure to incarceration. It, it's been tough for him. Joseph Caramadre pleaded guilty to the charges last year, but today, even as he addressed the court, Caramadre maintained his innocence. He said that he pled guilty at a point earlier in time when he probably shouldn't have pled guilty. So uh, he's going to litigate that issue. Carl Madre has promised to appeal on the grounds that he was not able to withdraw his guilty plea. What do you make of that? You know, Mr. Carl Madre um, will do whatever he thinks he needs to do. Uh, we will take him on at every turn uh, to ensure that justice continues to be done in this case. Cara Madre's co-conspirator, Raymore Radhakrishnan, was sentenced to one year plus one day in jail, three years of supervised release, and 3,000 hours of community service. He's been ordered to report to U.S. Marshals on January 13th. In addition to this six years in prison, Cara Madre was also sentenced to three years of supervised release and 3,000 hours of community service. The judge ordered that that, that community service be done with terminally ill patients. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.